Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Vasquez and I'm the Curator of Integrated Sciences for the San Bernardino County Museum and today I would like to share a little bit about the California grizzly with you. Let's start by talking about what is a California grizzly. A California grizzly is the common name given to one or more subspecies of brown bears that once inhabited California. Brown bears can vary in color and size and are found in many places. The California grizzly was a very large, muscular, and agile top predator. As omnivores, they sustained a diverse diet of fish, carrion, nuts, berries, and more. Some bears will go into a type of hibernation known as torpor when resources are scarce and weather is unfavorable. However, the California grizzly could stay active year round. Grizzlies once roamed the entire region that we now call California. It is said that approximately 10,000 grizzlies inhabited California prior to Spanish settlement. As people began to settle in California, encounters with grizzlies increased. As people began raising and keeping livestock, grizzlies found a constant and easy source of food. Inevitably, this led to problems as people needed to protect their livelihoods while grizzlies needed to sustain theirs. The California grizzly was considered to be more aggressive as it often stood its ground, unlike other species of bears, which preferred to flee when confronted by people. Grizzlies were hunted and even captured by vaqueros, also known as cattle drivers, and subsequently used in fights against other animals like bulls. These fighting events became very popular gambling events. In the county of San Bernardino, William F. Holcomb, an early prospector who came into California due to the gold rush, hunted grizzly bears and got his nickname, Grizzly Bill Holcomb. It is said that William Holcomb discovered gold as he was tracking a wounded bear. He and his associate, Ben Chateau, came upon rocks that looked promising for quartz. But they soon found that the rock actually contained gold. Discovery of gold in what would become known as Holcomb Valley in 1861 sparked the largest gold rush in Southern California history. Today, the California grizzly no longer inhabits California. In fact, today, the grizzly bear only inhabits about 4% of its historic range. Many factors contributed to the grizzly bear's decline, and in the county of San Bernardino, factors include populating the mountains due to mining, lumbering, loss of habitat, unregulated hunting, and the discovery of gold in Holcomb Valley and Lytle Creek. Each species plays an important and unique role in their environment. If one species suffers, another is likely to be affected. Grizzlies are top predators, and as such, play a critical role in an ecosystem. For instance, grizzlies can keep prey populations balanced. Additionally, they help with seed dispersal of plants when they poop. The last California grizzly was shot in California in 1922. Today, the American black bear is the only bear in the region. Our local Big Bear Lake and Big Bear Mountains once held California grizzlies. In fact, this area was given its modern name after the California grizzly. The California grizzly is on the California flag, and in 1953, the California grizzly was designated the state animal. The California grizzly has held such a significant place in our history and culture that even schools, sports teams, and various areas are named after this amazing animal. Although reintroduction has been a topic of conversation, there are many factors that need to be considered before this could happen. One of the biggest concerns is that prime grizzly habitats are now highly populated by people. For a reintroduction of a top predator like the grizzly, to take place, we would have to work together and adjust our lives to ensure the safety of both species. Hey guys, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope you learned a little bit about the magnificent California grizzly and its historical importance in our region. I hope to see you all soon and thanks for watching.